Hey, what's up? Amelia here. Let's see what's making news. The Aussie men's cricket team has won the second Ashes Test against England. And while many are celebrating, some reckon the Aussies cheated. So what's going on? Here's Joe. It was all smiles as the Aussies claimed the W for the second Ashes Test at Lord's Cricket Ground in London. But behind the celebrations lurked something sinister in the form of angry English cricket fans. In yesterday's match, Australia's Cameron Green bowls a short ball and English batsman Johnny Bairstow leaves it for Alex Carey, the Aussie wicketkeeper. No big deal. But then Bairstow stepped out of his crease and Carey walloped the ball into the stumps, leaving Bairstow stumped, literally. See, he thought the umpires had called the ball dead, meaning no longer in play. But they hadn't, and he was out. Yeah, that didn't sit well with England, because even though it didn't break any rules, a lot of fans reckoned the Aussies' move wasn't in the spirit of the game. But this isn't the first time something like this has happened, with people on social media comparing similar moments of England attempting the same thing. The Marylebone Cricket Club, who owns the grounds, has issued an apology to Australia. The Ashes will now move on to the third test on Thursday, but many won't be moving on from this test in a hurry. The NAIDOC Awards were handed out over the weekend. The ceremony kicks off NAIDOC Week, which is all about celebrating Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, their history, culture and achievements. Professor Kelvin Cobb. The top gong of the night, NAIDOC's Person of the Year, went to Warramai man Professor Kelvin Kong. He's Australia's first Indigenous surgeon who specialises in addressing and raising awareness for Indigenous ear health. Trevor, who came back after his operation and confided in me how happy he was that farts don't just smell, they actually make noises. People in the Northern Territory lit up the sky for Territory Day on the weekend. Here's Lava to tell us how it went down. Or up, I guess. Yup, if you were in the NT over the weekend, you would have seen a lot of this. That's because it was Territory Day, AKA Cracker Day, AKA the only day it's legal to set up fireworks in Australia without a permit. <sighs> it's just fun to light them off and like all the stuff in the sky. So what's that all about? Well, Territory Day happens every year on July 1st to mark the anniversary of when the NT first appointed its very own government back in 1978. And people celebrate with, well, a lot of fireworks. Oh, so I've got some white parachutes, some little angries and a bad neighbour. But there are some rules. You can only set them off between 6 and 11 p.m. And you have to be within the NT. Some people aren't fans of the tradition. And they were just shooting fireworks at us. I didn't appreciate it at all. And there are usually some pretty nasty accidents. This year, six people were sent to hospital and emergency services had to put out nearly 100 fires. But most people celebrated safely and enjoyed the spectacle. Happy Territory Day! Take a closer look at this next segment because I can assure you it's not what it looks like. Hey! Sure, this looks like a nice ad for the Philippines, but unfortunately some of the shots in it are stock images of other countries. An ad agency has apologised after people pointed out things like sand dunes in the United Arab Emirates, rice paddies in Indonesia and a plane landing in Switzerland. The ad was part of the Filipino government's $1.3 million campaign to promote tourism. Awkward. Now, this might look like a regular bunch of fairies doing regular fairy things, but no, my friends, you're witnessing a synchronised fairy boat ballet. Fairy skippers in Vancouver have performed boat choreography every year on Canada Day for more than 30 years. And this celebration in Mexico may seem like the wedding of a local mayor and... Is that a crocodile? And well, it kind of is. The ritual marriage between man and caiman is an indigenous tradition in Oaxaca that dates back centuries. Now, you may kiss the bride. Well, that's all the news for now, but we'll be back with more tomorrow.